Now in this video, we're going to go ahead and go over everything in which Jasmine has said about Berwadis and pretty much how the relationship ended. I never really made a video about this, but in this video, we're going to go ahead and go over on separate parts in which Jasmine has spoken out about and also kind of it relating to his past relationship in which in this case, this is going to be towards Jackie Figueroa and how Jasmine and Jackie kind of had the same relationship with Berwadis. So we're gonna go ahead and go back a little and both of them ended up doing a TikTok live stream in which they went over on how they broke up. Except for Jasmine, she ended up kind of just explaining on who Berwadis is as a true person and never really admitted or denied the fact that she was cheating or going back to her previous boyfriend. So Jasmine ended up going over on how Berwadis would treat her financially and one of the things in which he would do was take her on trips in which he ended up taking her to Mexico to pretty much ask her out to be his girlfriend. Now she did say this on her TikTok live stream and she did say on how he would do this to kind of buy her back and to kind of erase anything else in which he ended up doing in which was in a bad manner. In this case, it had to do with Berwadis disrespecting her and slamming a door in front of her. And I'll go ahead and show you guys this clip in which Jasmine ended up going over on. But it seems like he kind of does stuff like this to kind of buy himself back in the relationship. As you guys can see, this pretty much occurred with Jasmine. And the same thing occurred with Jackie Figueroa when they were pretty much together and he ended up doing a YouTube video of gifting his girlfriend a car. Now I'll go ahead and show you the video clip right here and I'll go ahead and show you the overall kind of idea in which he does. Now a lot of people were agreeing to this back then in which this was as of three years ago and you can kind of see on what he's still doing as of today. Here are some comments based on this. It goes over by saying he took too long to admit his feelings back so she moved on. Y'all are still corny about this. Y'all need to grow up. He took too long to ask her out. Girl wanted to move on, respect that. Now those are just two similarities based on his previous relationship. And another one has to be with them not wanting to be in the YouTube videos in which he pretty much forced them to be after on. This goes on by Jasmine saying on how she didn't want to be involved in the YouTube videos anymore after their first breakup. Although Berwadis pretty much forced her and she ended up saying this on the TikTok live stream in which I'll show you the video clip right here. After the first breakup, I literally told him, I do not want to be on YouTube with you. I do not want to film with you. I don't want to be on anything, but none of his family helps him with videos. So of course I had to. Now, as you can see right there, this will pretty much bounce back to what Jackie Figueroa went through as well. Jackie Figueroa ended up breaking up with Berwadis back in 2020, in which she ended up making this tweet in which goes on by saying, I went on dates and he was upset about it. I had told him I didn't want to make videos anymore. Couldn't stand knowing his friend was there every time I left. And as you can see, this is an old tweet in which she went on by saying this was pretty much something in which she ended up replying to. And the previous tweet in which had to do with it was by saying, wait, what? So he wasn't really about it. It was just a video confused. And this was back in 2020 as of December 23rd, 2020. Anyways, just by showing that you can see the similarities based on the first one of Berwadis, you know, buying back his relationships. And then also in this second segment, on how he pretty much forces them to be in his YouTube videos because there's no one else who wants to help in which he ends up using them in the title and thumbnail as you guys can see from these photos. Now the third topic in which I'm gonna go ahead and go over and which isn't really the same but it kind of contradicts in karma in a way as Jackie said is him being a cheater in which he ended up getting cheated on. Now, as you guys know, obviously, Berwadis has opened up about Jasmine being a cheater. And the way in which she would do this was she wouldn't stay at his house. And two days out of the week, she would go back to her house, in which at that time, she would go back to her previous boyfriend. And Berwadis opened up about this, in which she never really denied or admitted, although he ended up showing numerous screenshots of this by showing on how she was cheating. He also went over on how Jasmine would visit her ex-boyfriend at her old job. And if you guys don't know her old job, she was a waitress in which you can see in this photo. And pretty much her ex-boyfriend was a dishwasher in which she would go in the kitchen to pretty much see him or any other interaction in which Berwadis went on by explaining. 
So those are the two topics that Berwadis ended up going over on how she was sleeping with her previous boyfriend and also how she would visit him during work as Berwadis found out that she was doing this since August in which that's about six to seven months from now. Although what a lot of you guys don't know is he's pretty much getting karma for what he ended up doing to Jackie Figueroa. Now Jackie Figueroa ended up reacting to this overall relationship as she was doing a TikTok live stream and a lot of people were telling her about the news in which she's obviously involved in knowing everything. And she ended up making her comments about this in which went on by saying on how this was karma for Ruadis. Now, when she went on by saying this was karma, no one really knew who she was talking about. Although it all makes sense now since in their past relationship, it seems like the way it ended was because Berwadis was cheating and she's now saying that this is karma for what he's getting for because he was a past cheater in which in this case it's karma by him getting cheated on. Now if you don't understand what I'm really talking about I'll go ahead and show you guys this clip in which Jackie Figueroa did as of a couple days ago. So now as you can see Berwadis ended up getting cheated on in which Jackie Figueroa said that this was karma and in this case it's pretty much karma for what he ended up doing to her. And she does have old tweets about this. She goes on by saying, it's the way cheaters end up with who they cheat with for me. Lol can only laugh. And this goes back in December 23rd as of 2020. Now these are real tweets on her Twitter and you can go back all the way to this date to find them. And she also went on by saying, I've held my tongue, but I can't even believe he'd showed someone else before manning up. Not once did he ever apologize for anything he's ever done to me. I deserve so much more. So if you guys still do not understand what I'm trying to say is pretty much he ended up getting cheated on and Jackie Figueroa went on by saying that this was karma and all because he was once a cheater in which as you guys can see from these tweets, it pretty much confirms that he's a cheater and that's why Jackie Figueroa left him. And that's why Jackie Figueroa said this was karma because he's now getting cheated on with his current or ex-girlfriend in which in this case, that was Jasmine Morales. So yeah, I ended up making this video because a lot of you guys were saying on how his past girlfriend, Jackie Figueroa, and his current were very similar based on what things he ended up doing for them. That's gonna be the end of the video. Those are the three topics in which I went over based on the similarities in which you guys ended up commenting on my previous videos. So I'll go ahead and show you guys a live stream in which Berwadis did if you guys have not seen yet. Anyway, subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss another topic. While I'm sleeping over here at my house alone, had just kissed her on the lips, told her goodbye, drive safe, baby, I love you, I'll see you tomorrow. The fact that her her mom and, and sisters didn't, like, what kind of evil family, like, like, I would see her mom face to face, I would talk to her mom, how do you not feel bad? Uh, I would see her sister. Sometimes the sister would spend the night here. I would bring them coffee. I would, you know, we would have food here. I would get them food. And her sister could look me in the face and not say a word. Like, I don't know. Um, what's it called? Another crazy thing. The, the, again, this is the last thing I'm going to this because I don't want to, like, I don't want to keep bringing this up and keep talking about it and all. Um, yeah, bro. I